of how good a game could be. You just saw. But we'll try. This one's called Donkey Me, and this is considered a good game. So, uh... Let's see what happens. Hopefully Jim Davis does not sue me. Please do not sue Jim Davis. Mm. Hey. I want to be Indiana Jones. Total Recall. Conan. Gremlins. The Exorcist. Oh, this is fucking cool. Wait, why is the Exorcist part of this? Raiders of the Lost Ark, yes. Alien. Star Wars, there's Luke. I think I've played this like a long ass time ago. This is fucking cool, though. The guy with the beard posted again? Alright, after this I'll check. After we're done with Donkey Me. R2 and C-3PO. I'm surprised it's not Princess Leia. Oh, oh okay, I see. Well, <laughs> we're in the canteen. I'm Con Solo. Now, this is cool. This is actually a really... There's a lot of effort that went into this, guys. This is fucking cool. Oh, well, Han Solo doesn't shoot his gun. He, he actually... What race is that? The dude with the long nose that spy on the rebels? He just bashes people over the head with the gun. I knew that was gonna happen. Fuck. My, my Donkey Kongin is, is a little weak at the moment. See, now I've- I've lost my- my Donkey Kong ability. You gotta do Raiders. From- from one Harrison Ford to the next Harrison Ford. Well, this is a really cool way to play Donkey Kong. I mean, it, it feels exactly, or very, very similar to the original. I mean, I'm sure there's purists that would know the difference, but it's it's actually really... Whoa! It's actually really accurate, from what I can tell. And I can't probably tell a whole lot, but... I remember I played a lot of Stanky Danky Kong on um, Donkey Kong 64, because it came with it. If you remember correctly, there was like a... There's like a minigame version where you had to play it to progress at one point, and uh, I, I played that a lot. That was my Donkey Kong skill. I'm not... I'm not the King of Kong, but I, I did play it for a while and I got pretty good at it, and then I just stopped. Actually, if you want to talk about classic games that I played a lot, like well beyond their time, Asteroids. Yeah, for a second I was I was doing all right. Now it's all it's all fucked. Flash. Uh, <laughs> savior of the universe. Big trouble in Little China. That's kind of a semi-obscure one. It's a fucking great Kurt Russell movie from the '80s. If anyone here likes like over-the-top schlock of the highest degree of entertainment, oh, that barrel sucks. Big Trouble in in Little China is a fantastic movie. I like honestly most of the 80s Kurt Russell action movies were pretty fucking awesome. I know Mike Soklaza does not like Escape from New York, but I think that movie's pretty awesome. Or was it Jay that didn't like No no Jay likes it, Mike doesn't.
higher schlock than Cage. No, Cage is the king of schlock in a lot of ways. You, you kind of you kind of have to give that title to him, but it is it is a good schlock flick. Oh, right, that's an enemy. Uh, it's, it was hard to tell. Um, yeah, so there's some cool skins in this. There's Alien as well. Play as Ripley. Or is this Aliens? I think this is just Alien. There's the, um... Uh, what is it called? The, the fucking the jockey. The space jockey, is it? Can't wait for Prometheus 2, or Alien fucking Paradise Lost, or whatever the fuck they're calling it now. God damn it, Ridley. Well, let's hope Damon Lindelof doesn't write the next one's script. Okay, so that was Donkey Me, and that was fucking awesome. Um, next, we'll we'll do a game called uh, Fruits of a Feather. All right. Oh, I may have streamed this one a while back. Let's let's find out. All the music in that was done really well. Yeah, that was that was that was cool. That was actually a very high quality version of Donkey Kong, and I I could safely recommend that to any Donkey Kong fan that also likes movies. So, and yes, I, I have played that before, I just, years ago. It was very, very familiar. Now, this... Oh, beard. Everyone's typing beard, right? Okay. <laughs> it's just fucking beard in all caps. Like, 400 people typing the word beard all at the same time. Let's check it out. Let's see what, what's going on here. Uh, I've, I've received no beard update. I'm sorry to say everyone, it's, it, I think the beard update was a lie because there's no beard update. Let me, let me check. Also, you no, you, oh, I think he's hashtagging the wrong thing. You got it. Hashtag at Vinny Vine Sauce. Also, I go onto his page and I'm going to describe this to you because I can't actually show you. All right, this is what I see on this dude's Twitter page. This is the dude that's going to win a kazoo. Satan with an erect penis giving Jesus a hand job. Well, he's fondling his balls and also maybe tossing a salad. So that's the first thing I see on, on this dude's page. And then I look a little bit. I scroll down and it's a tiger with a noose in front of it. I scroll down. And then it's a giant fucking massive dildo. And that's it. That's that's really his whole page. It's just that. So, you know, there you go. Uh, well, we, we've have I have confirmation. Um, you could. All right. So here it is. Let's check this out. He apparently went into a place here. <laughs> it is. He's in a public place. He went to. Um, uh, some kind of store. He, he even prov provided a fucking receipt. I'm not going to show you the receipt, but he did provide a receipt and he's got a picture here of, you know, wherever, whatever fucking late night store that he went to that was open. It says the cashier I interacted with was super uncomfortable. I felt bad for him and he provided a better picture of the, oh, it's the 7-Eleven everyone. So he actually did buy something. He was in public. He has provided proof and that counts that that it is definitely according to my my rules of the shitty beard competition frog dog has won um however you lost because you posted a picture of satan tossing jesus's salad and uh you know listen you know satan never wins okay uh Wow. Wow, his page is just like... It's just like a fucking... He keeps saying, show me. Show it. He wants me to show the picture. I'm not showing the picture. You you know what? You guys have to... At, no, I'm not even doing that. I'll tell you what, though. He's dyslexic. And he's colorblind. And there's two things in there as well. It's in his description. All right, uh, so Frog Dog, here's what you're going to do. You won the competition. I'm actually kind of appalled and shocked and, and proud of you all at the same time. There's a revulsion deep down in my stomach that I can't quite explain, but you won, and you, now you can shave your shitty beard if you need to. 
Um, I want you to email me. Go to vinesauce.com, click contact. You'll figure out the rest. Email me. Uh, give me an address. Of course, I'll keep it private, and I will send you that package within the next few weeks because I'm going to be doing some shipping soon anyway. And congratulations, your beard sucks, and, and you will win some vine sauce-related stuff. Uh, this has been a very weird stream. Yeah. All right, so uh, there you go. Congratulations, Frog Dog. You you just you did it, and now we can play a relaxing bird game. I'm gonna need it <laughs> after all that. No, nope, I have not played this. This is new to me. Does bird die? Let me lower this a little bit. It's actually a really nice looking game. And I missed that fruit. So it's just the day and life of a bird. There's 168 fruits. Uh, I'm assuming the objective is to just get all of the fruit and to enjoy your life. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It seems like one of those games where you just enjoy the colors and the surroundings and the bird. Could you imagine, though, getting all 168 fruits? Holy fuck. Someone out there's done it. Someone would be glad to do it, but, uh, my god. That's- that's a lot of bird gameplay. Someone in chat said it would look like it would be very good on the Vive. Or just VR in general, this could be something kind of nice. Alright, so picture this. You put a fan in your face, alright? You get on a Vive. And you fly around, you collect fruit, and while you're doing that, you're getting your salad tossed by Satan. How's that sound? That sounds like a very immersive and pleasurable experience. Someone said there's already a bird game, or mon mon uh, <laughs> monotonous. I know, I know him. You guys might know him too, actually. So there are some flying games in VR already, but this looks like another pretty appropriate VR title. Um, I'm already bored. You know, I'm not really in this for peaceful. I want, like, dead floating tigers in my living room. However, it's a really nice looking game and it's very peaceful and it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, I can see a market for games like this, definitely. I can see people like kind of meditating while playing that and enjoying themselves. Next is Mind Escape. So... Alright. Let's, uh extract this and see what happens. I, I remember one of these games broke when I extracted it because it said the fucking file was too big. Open with... Oh, here we go. Alright. I think we got something. Alizarin, I gotta give you credit. You definitely found some interesting games this time around. I didn't think you could top the last one. Someone in chat just said he uses Windows and then made a frowny face. Yeah, I'm going to be streaming PC games on a Mac. That's, uh... Yeah, that, that, that's good. He, he uses... Oh no, he uses Windows. What the fuck? That's the first time I've seen that. Um, This is having some problems here. 
Okay, I have to capture this manually. Hang on a second, we're having some issues. All right. Oh, that was loud. That was a fucking loud noise. Cut this down a little bit. Okay. What are you? What do you want me to what What do you want me to do? What is what is this? What do you want me to do? Tell me what do you want me to do? Acid sword. Okay. This is kind of cool. It's it's like a better version of that fucking screensaver from Windows 95. Ugh, Windows. You can, uh, can you hear the clacking of the keys? Is is it is it fulfilling anyone's ASMR needs? That looks fake. That that would that doesn't look like a real wall. I can't break through it though. I can't break on through to the other side. Sadly, you know the day he destroyed a night. Night divide the day. How's it? How's it now? Is the ASMR pleasing you? I don't. I'll do whatever pleases you. What whatever whatever pleases you, Paul. Is there another button? I'm on the fucking... I'm not searching for a way out of the maze. I'm, I'm searching for more buttons that, that work when I press them. Alright. Oh, here we go. We got something. happening no it's not happening it's really really not happening what uh, what the fuck was that I hadn't seen that previously what what uh. All right. Can I get that sword? <laughs> oh, there's some infringement going on here. Well, that that is definitely more powerful than it was before. <laughs> I'm okay with this now. I've stunlocked him. Is it possible to break the walls? I can't actually fucking break the walls, and this dude is not dying. Oh. You have to get him to shoot the fake walls. Oh. Oh, that makes a lot more sense than fucking trying to kill an invincible enemy. Having so much fun, 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 fun till the daddy takes the trash can away. Beatrice, Beatrice. So this this actually now breaks walls. Okay. This actually kind of is cool. Um, just so you know, there's no mouse controls at all, so I'm using the the keyboard for this exclusively. And uh, it looks like it's shooting white sticky icky. Actually, this I don't I don't know what what's going on here with this Beatrice thing. Strumpf necklace. All right, we got some strength. This is kind of uh, giving me some nostalgia for things that I actually have probably never played, but it's cool. It's kind of cool.
a little music would help, like some dutes, you know, just like a, like a, a symphony of dutes would probably make this a little bit more exciting. Doot, 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 doot. If I had my keyboard set up, I'd play it with my feet. And it would sound like really good. Really good. Like you have no idea. Keyboard feet is my uh, stage name. It's my stage name, everyone. Play guitar with my arms, keyboard with my feet, whilst scooting the burbs and eating a dick. It's good. It's good times. I, is this even classifiable as commentary at this point? I, I remember, um, I don't know why I remember this. Maybe it's the coffee, but I'll tell you what. Something I remember from childhood that just popped back up. When I was growing up, um, me and my best friend would try to annoy each other a little bit here and there. And uh, when I say here and there, I mean not too often. I really, you know, not like all the time. But I, um, oh, that's a thing. That makes sense. And, um, I remember I heard someone say at this juncture. Oh, fuck. Like, I'm, I'm not going to answer that question at this juncture. Oh, it just glitched. Oh, wait, no. No, I just have to hit it from far enough back, I think. And, uh, it, it would, I'd, like, I started saying it, like, all the time, because I thought it, it was, it was stupid and kind of funny, just to say it at random moments. And, uh, he, he was like, this is his exact words, I swear, he said it exactly like this, I'll never forget this. He's like, if you say that one more time, I'm gonna smack you. And he said it with a smile on his face, like you wouldn't believe. And, uh, I said it again, and, and he didn't smack me. But, um, he looked more pissed, so I, I just kind of stopped from that point forward. Also, the game glitched, so we're done here, I believe. Yeah, there's, uh, we got a hitbox problem. This thing just isn't, isn't working. At this juncture. This doesn't work, right? No. Well... You know, it was, uh, that, yeah, that wasn't really much of a story, but hey, uh, this doesn't work, and unfortunately, I was kind of starting to enjoy this. This is actually kind of a cool game. Let's see if I wake up, what happens? Oh, there's a whole, like, sub plot of, okay, that's interesting. It's not, I mean, it's not like it would take me a long time to get back to where I was. But I am going to just move on to the next game. H however, this is this is actually a very interesting and cool little game, and I liked it a lot. I think this is good. It's called Mind Escape, for anyone who wants to check it out. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think there's probably a lot more fun to be had if the fucking statue didn't glitch. Uh, so that was part of the weird games. Next is another good game. And this is called Firewing 64, so you know what? I'm actually going to plug my controller in just in case. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wow, that's loud. It doesn't look like it's using the controller. No. What button? What button does the things? Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's the, um... What button is it? It's... Input options, close up, huh? Map, gamepad. 
All right. Um, it's the J button. This is a very strange control scheme so far. But we're just gonna just keep going and start the game and, and hopefully this doesn't suck. Nah, not blurry enough to be an N64 game. Gather up the fragments and fuse them back together in order to restore peace to the lands. What a what a shock. I'm Spyro? Actually, I want to use a controller. It seems like there is controller support. There is controller support, it's just I don't know how to activate it. Let's stand on this head. I saw the fragments. There's some weird control fucking options here. Like the, the buttons that do things are all over the place. I am going to acquiesce and use the keyboard. So there's some like very heavy infringement. Jim Davis is going to sue. It's not recognizing the gamepad at all. No, the gamepad the gamepad doesn't even exist according to this, which is also the fault of of the drivers I think that happened. There was um there's a long story but something happened. Okay, so attack is N. Glide is K. All right, so it's all centralized like here. It's plugged in. It is, it is plugged in. Cool loop. That's, that's my attack. It has a radius of one foot. Someone's getting doula doobie vibes from this. Yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess I can kind of see what you're talking about. I too am feeling like doula doobie. Oh shit! Do you see? There's no there's no hands. This dragon doesn't. This is what the fuck? It's just arms. I can see this being kind of cool with a controller. I'll just say that. It's just right now on the keyboard, it's giving me some problems. But on the controller, it seems like the systems in place designed to emulate an N64 platformer actually do work. Like, it's not too bad. I I'm not, I'm not hating it. I can see the, the camera controls on a controller making this experience much more better. As is, it's just, it's really hard to, to do the fucking platforming. Uh, well, yeah, it definitely, definitely reminds me of an N64 game, so I guess mission accomplished. Right. Oh. 
<laughs> but there goes that. There's really nothing to do up here. Just like a, a scattered coin. I don't know, it's alright. It's not better than Jumanji 2. Ah. Uh. Is there a glide function? Yeah, there's a glide function. You gotta press another button. So this, the button that makes you go fast is the glide function. So there's a, a run button, kind of. And it also helps you glide. And there's a fence. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm, that's actually incorrect. The, the run button is its own thing. That's a very, very awkward default keyboard controls, which I, I know I could change, but... I don't think I'm going to be playing this that long to need to change them. But, um, yeah, there's a glide button, so it really is like Spyro without the fire. It's like, you have a very short range of attack, and... Oh, thanks, Possum. Sorry this stream doesn't work for you. I I'm sure that's a problem other people have, too. It's all right. I'm sure people would find enjoyment out of an N64, like, nostalgia game like that. I didn't hate it. I just uh, don't think I'll be continuing with it. Next is a game called Hot Date. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, no. I think I know what this is. This may be banned on Twitch. If this is what I think it is... No. No, I don't think this is the one. Alright. Let's find out. There's one of them where you just, like, like, play with a dude's chest hair or some shit. And, uh, it's made by the people that made Stick Shift in the, the fucking, the, the game where you suck on a popsicle. <laughs> and, uh... You think so? So I'm dating a pug. I'm, I'm trying to court a pug. Well, let me pull my moves. Yo. Oh god, are you cool? I'm tragically uncool. I don't know. Me needs... Wood. 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 You like to see my collection of... Newts? <laughs> Pate, you're lame -o. Why do you waste your time with that junk? You think it's cool? Amphibians? Is that it? Well? Yes. Okay, cool, bro. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Have you thought about changing your name to... Ronaldo. <laughs> I don't know, Pate. Jeez, quit hassling me. What annoys you? I'm annoyed by many great... By many a great many things. I didn't... The unpopularity of flares. I didn't see the last one. Irre irrelevant protection of ethics in tunes, Pates. Underly ripe fruits. And a, a great many more for another time. Do... You believe in Kanye. Not only do I believe in it, I harbor a deep and complex loathing for it. I think that that's wow, that's like surprisingly accurate. Shameful stare. You know, I like 
someone who tells it like it is, someone with strong opinions, inspirational, are you having a nice time? Look, Pate, this isn't working for me. No, okay? Do you have any special skills? I believe I hold a high level of commercial awareness which helps me achieve profitable growth in a competitive market. I'm also sick at a triple jump. All right. I would probably own you. You would not. Trust me. There are those that are born with one purpose, one fate. I am amongst them. This game is total YouTuber bait. Holy shit. Have you ever read a clockwork orange. What can I tell you about? Oh, at last, saved by the bell. I never want to see you again. Nice one. Take care or don't. I really don't care. My date with the pug went poorly. Pleased to meet you, I guess. Flowers the name. You? Good gravy, Scrumpkins is a special name. Very special indeed. You look lovely. Is that all you care about? How I look? Oh, fucking hell. You're all the same, aren't you? Take a compliment and, you know... Can I- can I end this now? What do you do for fun? Really? You want to know? I know what you're really thinking. Despicable. I'm into working out to end your nagging. Yo, this sucks! What meaningless task do you do? D. Cool. Kinda. I'm done with this pug. What are you afraid of? Just the normal rational fears and the possibility of a kaiju invasion. You? I'm not afraid of anything except the possibility of kaiju invasion, obviously. That kinda goes without saying. What are you afraid of, scrumpkins? Oh, flip. You? That's so horrifying. No, no, you! Okay, now we're crying. Oh god, you're one of them. I go there. I am one of those who goes. Recognize, fool. Are... Are you having a nice time? Not right now. I have people telling me I'm a jerk because I told a pug that the pug looked nice and then the pug gave me an attitude. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. Un understood, pug. Thanks. What are your hobbies? Well, I've always done a lot of writing letters to myself, but I'm not... Okay. What about you? My hobbies are... Speed. Cool. Kinda. Sigh. Do you believe in Santa? Well, obviously I do. I thought it was pretty evident. I don't hide it. I'm not ashamed. You are entitled to your beliefs. I know I am. I don't need you to tell me what I already know, sunshine. No, this is good. No, really, I'm having a good time. I like this date. Oh, oh, bye, flower. I had a great time. Oh, you sweetie, take care, scrum. What? Now, what? Now she's nice to me, or it's nice to- Pug's nice to me. Hello, lovely to, lovely to meet you. My name is George. What's your name? My name is... Flander. What an incredibly lame name. Oh, we're off to a great start. Here, I'm gonna be really nice to this pug and see what happens. Nice to meet you. Is it? Is it? Do you live around here? Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? I think... I don't think I'm ever gonna buy a pug as a pet from this point forward. Are you a fan of... 
poetry. Typical. The poetic written word. Don't make me sick. Yeah, George the Pug is also giving me quite a bit of shit here. I, I, wow, pugs are really just not good pets, huh? Have you ever been to New Zealand? Oh, for a second there, I thought you were cool. Sheep is definitely not in my top 10 faves. <laughs> what? Do you have any advice to give? What kind of advice are you after? Like, life advice. Give me life advice. Have a good time all the time. If you can do that, you'll do just fine. I don't know if I'm having a good time right now, George. Okay, George, you turned my life around. Thanks, Doc. Glad I could be of service. Oh, wow. Let me know if you need anything else. This pug is so great. Give me cool advice. Make sure you have a cool name. I think that's covered. I don't think Flandered Flander works for you. I think about changing it. That would be a start anyway. Oh. Got any more advice? More. Ah, oh, fine. What is it now? Uh, no advice, actually. Fine, don't heed my advice. See where it gets you. Are... No. Do... Do you like me? Defo a no. Have I not been very, very accommodating and nice to the pug? What would your superpower be? I would definitely be a radioactive, all-powerful philanthropist with an animal theme. Frog? I think that suits me. Okay. What do you do for fun? Really? You want to know? Yes. I know what you're really thinking. Oh, this pug hit But... Dude. Oh, God. It's all- all of these pugs are just, like, really horrible to me. I I'm into... Bad... Dates with potential pug partners. That's a fucking tongue twister. Neat. What annoys you? Time over. Never mind. Okay, one more pug. I had a great time. I'm sure you did. I make great company. <laughs> oh my god. My name. Oh, it's oh, no, it's George again. What's your name? Yaya Bombada. Yeah, my name is Yaya Bombada. How you doing? So cute. Yaya Bombada is in my top three favorite names. Thanks. How's it going? Well, can't complain. Or can I? Can I? You can if you want to. Well, that's good then. Do you have a bucket list? You know what? I don't. I've always wanted to make one though. This is a better George. Let's do it now. Okay, where should I go? All right, you're gonna, this, this George is cool. You should go to... Outer Heaven. Wicked cool. I've never been to Outer Heaven, actually. I like the sound of it. This pug is much more fun. What is your ideal? This is Sunday. Parachute pants and... Well, I've got these friends. I wouldn't call it a cult exactly. But that's what it is. We usually hang on Sundays. Hang out. Hang out. Alright. What is your ideal... Starting Pokemon. I'm way more Digimon, to be honest. Oh... The few times I've dabbled in Pokemon, it's been Pikachu. It's got a cute face. Screw you and screw Professor Oak. You're just as bad as Gary. Fine, I'm gonna just be really nice to this pug. Of course, doesn't take an Alakazam to work that out. What is your favorite... German cartoon character? Band musician. Okay, this is Neutral Milk Hotel. So many good vibes soundtrack to my life. Let me try that question again. Let me see how random these answers are. What is your... I do... What is your... Oh, I don't have that option again. Would you like to hear a joke? I'm already looking at... Oh. Jesus. Never mind then. I was only kidding. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. I don't have a joke. It's over. I lost it. Do you have 
any nicknames, I might... My true nickname shall forever remain an enigma. I'm just getting burned by pugs today. Yaya Bombada. <laughs> I have... That's the best part of this. I'm just gonna give it a wow. I'm going to pretend that was positive. One sec. Thank you. Well, this is so far the best pug. If I needed a pet, it would be this. Time's up. Let's meet up again. Yep, bye. Okay, well, I've had enough of this. Petunia is my name. You tell me yours, let's make this quick. Uh, we're off to a bad start. Here, let's try one more time real quick and just see what happens. I'm gonna just choose... Okay, yeah, some of these pugs just start hating me. Uh, I don't think they like the way I look. I guarantee it. You look lovely, let's see. Tell me something I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy, abort, escape, escape. Escape, escape. Fucking hell, man, I, I feel crushed. Ugh. I need something to pick my spirit back up. I just got abused by pugs for the past 10 minutes. Fucking hell. All right, let's try my first little demon cleanse. <laughs> it's a great name. Yaya Bombada. At least Yaya Bombada had a good time. You know. WASD to move, shift to run, left to shoot. Okay. Ooh. Is this, is this sound effects done by voice? Yes, it is. It's, it's almost Seinfeld music. Uh, okay. This is, uh, weird. I mean, it is in the weird games category, and it is exactly that. What's my weapon? What, what is this? Is this a fucking paintbrush? Or, a, like, the end of a vacuum cleaner? Papa Yaya Bombada wants his- wants his chicken nuggies, God damn it! Green? Oh, green is pleasant. I sure like, uh, not knowing what's going on so often. I mean, that's why I do these streams, if you think about it. This is- this is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, however, I'm still so fucking confused. Um, as far as I can tell, I can only change between... That's weird. I was going through red before. Red is through. I can change between two... Three colors. So I can actually change the color of, of the game. And I don't know how that affects the game. I'm, I'm not really entirely sure if I've seen any... Legitimate, um, lasting effects. It just seems to be... Like, kind of an aesthetic thing. That's a big one. Oh, fuck! I 
you change, if you press the color change buttons quick enough, you can get other colors. I'm gonna try this one more time. It's been a lot of weird first-person shooters tonight. So that was uh, my first little demon cleanse, and it's uh, it, it's with that. Yep. All right. Uh, let's do a few more. This one's called Insatia Centipedes, and this is considered. This is in the good game folder. No, it was no Jumanji too. Then again, nothing is. Experiment, uh, play tutorial, play competition. There's a lot of game modes. Down to, down to jump. Biggest key on the keyboard, press it. <laughs> what am I? I'm killing sheep? So it's like a weird version of Snake. Wow. Yeah, it is like Slither IO, Slither IO. Very similar. I have to. Ooh, that's how you die. I have no. Oh, it actually gave me a fucking tutorial this time. So in order to move fast, you have to wiggle. So you, you can't just press forward and move forward, guys. You actually have to press left and right or jump in order to um, gain speed. Oh, I see how this works. This, this is really cool, actually. I like this. Done, Vine saw it. Wait a minute, how the fuck did it know my name? I didn't put my name in here. Guys. Alizarin, did you do that? Did you put my name in this before you sent it to me? Because that's, uh. Yeah, I did not input my name. And also, the worm also knows my social security number, too. D did Hitomi do this? On Steam, no. Oh, oh, oh Alizarin did it. Okay. Press forward and left. Um. Press forward or the left mouse button to make sharp turns. You can play this with the mouth, mouse, not with the mouth, but with the mouse. with the mouse that much, actually. Welcome to the lab. Okay. Competition. Domination. Race. Family. Don't eat me, granddaughter. What the hell is this game mode? This one's about laying eggs. To lay an egg, the worm has to grow up a bit. This is my body. Oh yeah, now I'm fucking massive, mate.
I'm not really crazy about the controls. I think I'd have to get used to them. Girl is ready. Press and hold down and quickly alternate. The fuck? I don't know why it's slowing down, but all right. There it is, I shot out an egg. Now we wait and hope no one eats the egg. Oh, I just got a golden bug like in Spelunky. Ow. Oh, dude, fuck off. No, 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 dude, dude! Egg save. Save! Egg save me! It hasn't ended yet, I think. I think we're just waiting for the egg to hatch. Oh, here we go. I I'm- I'm born anew, everyone. I'm- I'm a little bab now. And I'm dead. <laughs> Never mind! So this is- this is also a very cool game. If anyone here- I mean, again, the controls take a little getting used to, but... If you can figure it out, and you can feel comfortable with it, I think this is totally, definitely worth a download. Again, it's called Insatia. Yeah. That's good- good stuff. That's good. You gotta be really careful how you go in for a kill there. Alright, um, so that was Insatia. I, I could play that probably a lot longer because it is that good. But uh, I'm going to just do one more good, one more weird, one more not. So this is the next not game. There's gonna be a part two of this because there's that many games in this collection. And we're actually probably just a little over halfway through this. But uh, I do want to get to bed soon, so we're going to do that. The coffee has caused me to crash. You're the newest of many. This place is your own until you depart. Familiarize yourself with the new surroundings. You'll find many strange situations before you. Stay calm and continue on onward. If you haven't hurt yourself, I don't feel like being responsible. I put some band-aids in your pocket. You know, if you're afraid... You will be. Please um, apply now for 0% APR financing on your medical bills. What the hell? This world is fictitious, illusory. You exist here driven by purpose. That is more than you can say for other worlds. Is this fucking the Fantabuloso, Fantabuloso game? Bouncy balls are... Okay, that's loud. Yeah, balls. Great. Oh, I feel... F I love that sound. That's a great sound. Okay, if you have epilepsy, you might want to look away because... Things are fucking freaking out, and there's a dude in the wall, and there's they're strobing. That's a nice face, though. I like that face. What is that? That's good. It's the first man to walk the earth. I, I like these cool double textures on every wall. You guys must must be loving the bitrate right about now. A barren land. Do you enjoy what you see, or is there hatred? Kind of hate it. Looks like clown vomit. I have no respect for clown vomit. Maybe regular vomit. Maybe clowns. But together, man. I don't know. BONUS SODA! Yeah, I hate it. It's huge. I can't figure out what to do. 
and I'm kind of just stuck. Just, just wandering. Also, this motion blur is, is probably also causing the bitrate to shit itself. So you must be having a fantastic time. It looks like taffy. I guess it kind of does. Looks like a boring game. <laughs> if I can be totally honest, but... You know, I'm only the one playing it. This game apparently has a jump scare. So, uh... If you're not into the jump scare thing, you might want to... Feck off a little bit. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. My, my sources are informing me, aka a random chat member out of 5,000, nearly. Follow the polls at the start, okay. Now there's the bonus soda. And it's, um, we're, we're on a building. It's a building with buildings on it. Four K rounds up to five K, sure mate. Actually, four K plus about another K on YouTube. But I, I haven't really, I don't have the numbers open. I just, my last estimate was when I went to go piss. So I don't, I don't really look at the numbers when I'm streaming until like, because I have the chat kind of in its own screen. I don't have like the actual number count. But uh, yeah. This is a little bit intense right now. Okay. So here's more cool textures. That, um, yeah, there's some, some great textures that fucking blink, and I don't blink, and I'll just keep going. And I'll blink, and I'll just keep going. Paths confront you with the totality of the same result. Okay, well, um, Hall of Judgment. Or finality. I'm gonna go to the Hall of Judgment. <laughs> Douche nozzle. Sh slut dumpster. Cunt basket. Stupid child. Worthless. Pathetic. Ass hat. Oh no, I got called an ass hat. But I was not called a douche canoe. So I'm okay with that. And welcome to the missing no zone. Let's see, what the fuck is this? This is. The totality of your journeys. You will remain here to rot, or perhaps you can find a way out or not. No reality abiding person can leave here, and somebody such as you, you cannot have possibly have the power to escape, unless you had a home button or escape or some shit like that, but alas, you are a reality abiding person. Happiness is here. It's also a warm gun, maybe. Happiness is here. It's A, you know, I just wanted to be called a fucking douche canoe. That's the new buzzword, everyone. Oh, I pressed the home button. Nothing happened. If I hit the escape button, it'll just, like, shut the game down, as most of these Unity games have been doing. happiness and nothing happened. 
Exit reopen. Let's see. Maybe something different will happen. No. No, it's it's all it's from the beginning again. And uh, I'm not looking to play this from the beginning again. I really, uh, well, there, I mean, there is a choice. I, I guess I can just go ahead and say, if you want to find out what happens in the other path, just, 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 just play the game yourself. It's called ponder.exe. Take the right path, not the left. Oh, fuck. So even Alizarin in the fucking folder told me to take the right path. I, I gotta do it, guys. I'm sorry. See, now I'm really curious. I chose the wrong pa path. I chose poorly. Here, I know where to go. I'm gonna do it very quickly. This room sucks, like I said. Um, there's, there's a door down that way. I will hold the speedrun world record for this game after I, I'm finished here because I, I am the only person who has played this game. I don't, I don't even think the developer played the game, they just made it. Okay, that's all I had to do there. Uh, a little bit of, like, shit platforming here. It's, it's not good, I'll tell you that much. It's quite, quite bad platforming, but... You kind of just get stuck on the object, and then it lifts you. It just lifts you. So, blinky textures are happening, here's finality, here's the right path, okay. Happiness is here. I wonder if this will be worth it. Good. Oh, come on! Oh, what bullshit! Fucking shit. Oh. Okay, I press the escape key and then my mouse becomes available. So, what do I do now? I press escape and then home, and nothing happens. Alizarin, you got any, uh, any, any tips? Press the home key, I did. Nothing happens. Even Alizarin doesn't know. So that's, uh, that's the end of this one. Uh, this was cursor to camera in the corner. No, nothing. I needed to jump. Yeah, I guess I needed to jump. All right, well, that was ponder.exe, and I'm now pondering the reason why I play bad games after that one. This one's called The Old Man Club. Which is a, f a fucking amazing name for a game. Uh, the Old Man Club. I'm, I'm just picturing a fucking lemon party right about now. And I'm, I'm so sorry to bring up memories of lemon party. <laughs> but I can't, I can't not think of it. In fact, I just saw a number of people in chat say the same thing before I did. So obviously we're on the same fucking wavelength. Unfortunately... That is not a good wavelength to be on. Um, the Old Man Club 
It's a it's a human lion. Mm -hmm. I will show you my raw strength. All right, Mr. Fish. Let us play the hand game. All right, l let us lower the volume a little bit first. I win. You cut me in strips. It's good dialogue. I'm gonna join, and I want to be part of this old man club. How about you? Let us play. I'm ready to challenge you. <laughs> the hand game again! This one's a little harder. If, if it's just gonna keep giving me strong like a young cat, if it's just gonna keep giving me the hand game, I'm probably gonna stop playing this pretty soon. I will school you. It's it's an old shark. It's a sw old swole shark. Oh, fuck, it's too late for this shit. It really is too late for this shit. He's very strong and I'm I'm losing the dexterity to do this guys. It's it's, it's really this is really tough. I'm sorry, he's a dolphin. He's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. It's a Trust me, it's a dolphin. <laughs> oh, look at the swordfish with the bulge. The bulge. It's it's like it's it's bulging. I love and respect you, but I will kill you dead before the day ends. It's it. What's Dontrell the dolphin? What is that? I don't know about that. Oh, if only I had an auto fire. Or oh, it's a marlin. I hate it. Oh, it's so tough, guys. I'm, I'm clicking as fast as I can. I don't want to play the hand game anymore! I don't want to play the hand game anymore! Stop! Oh! I'm using both hands. I'm using every <gasps> finger I have available for this. <gasps> I hate it. Oh, I hate it! It's too late for this. I hate it. <gasps> it's actually making me aggravated that I have to do this. I'm doing the alternating two finger chip trick for the hand game. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I just, I'm at a deadlock and it's making me crazy. I actually hate everything right now. Please. Please, just a little bit more, please. 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 <gasps> Yes! Oh, please, never again. No more. You and the stars are my brothers. No more. Oh, fucking no more. Oh, there's a, a pair of sharks now, guys. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. No more hand game. I smell a fresh scent. It's, it's twins. They're brothers, or I guess. I don't know. No. We're not playing the hand game. I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care. I, I cannot do this. I, I physically do not have the strength, stamina, or dexterity to do this. Okay, but I am going to try one more time, and I'm going to fucking try it. A vibration tactic. Oh! Oh, the vibration tactic worked! What happened? Rest well, old man. I did it. Wow. 
Well, I feel accomplished. Uh, well, yeah, so I have, uh, <clears throat> I have, I guess, a good vibrating finger then, huh? Let us play the hand game. From the website, warning contains spoilers for Hemingway's Old Man in the Sea. Read the book for the full experience. It's been years since I fucking read that. So I, I don't know what the spoilers are exactly, but yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly, I, I guess the, the Marlin is the old man. I, I don't, I don't remember. I really don't. So, uh, well, we, we played the hand game, everyone. And, um, you know, any pugs want to go on a date? 